Oompa Boompa. <laughs> Jane Goodall. Emma walks to the park with her grandfather, and when she arrives, she discovers a mysterious staircase. Where is it headed? It looks like a stairway to heaven. Emma starts to climb it, and each step makes a sound, as if it were a piano key. Suddenly, everything around her is transformed. The ladder is magic and has taken her somewhere else. There are many trees and birds can be heard everywhere. It's a jungle. Emma starts to walk while singing a song, but a soft voice interrupts her. Shh, can you please be quiet? The person speaking to her is a woman, standing behind a tree, holding a notebook and a pen in her hands. Hi, I'm Emma. Why are you behind a tree? Are you playing hide and seek? Hello, Emma. My name is Jane Goodall. We are in Gombe Stream National Park in Tanzania. And no, I'm not playing hide and seek, but I don't want the chimps to freak out. What? Are there chimpanzees here? Easy, Emma. They are my friends. They won't hurt you. Ever since she was a child, Jane Goodall felt a great love for animals. Her favorite book was Tarzan, and she dreamed of traveling to Africa. Eventually, when she grew up, she was able to travel to meet and study chimpanzees. Suddenly, there are noises of branches shaking. Emma feels afraid and approaches Jane, who seems to be very calm. A chimpanzee appears among the trees with a branch in one of its hands. Come, Emma. Let's see where Goliath is headed. Goliath? Does the chimpanzee have a name? Oh, Jane, my legs are shaking. I've never seen one so close up. Neither did I at your age, Emma. It took me a while to do it. At first, they would move away. But over the years, they began to trust me. Goliath inserts the branch into a hole in the ground. He leaves it there for a few seconds, and when he takes it out again, the branch is covered with ants. Goliath observes it, and in one swoop, eats all the insects. <laughs> Looks like he enjoys a delicious ant ice cream. <laughs> yes, Emma. We have discovered something very important. Chimpanzees create and use tools, just like us. Wow! Can Goliath teach me how to eat spaghetti? They always slip off my fork. <laughs> Goliath probably has some secret and is a good teacher. When Jane Goodall first arrived in Africa in 1957, she planned to stay for six months. But her research was so important that she decided to dedicate her entire life to the care of animals and the environment. Why are you so interested in animals, Jane? Because living with them, I've discovered that, besides being very intelligent, they have feelings. That is why it's important that we treat them well. We can learn a lot by observing how they live. Suddenly, Goliath approaches with a branch in each hand and offers one to Emma. Look, Emma, Goliath has a gift for you. Thank you, Goliath. I will use this branch to cook marshmallows on the fire. The girl says goodbye to Jane. Goodbye, Emma. I hope there are more and more of us who take care of animals. Jane Goodall was born in England in 1934. She has dedicated more than 60 years to the study of chimpanzees and the protection of the environment. Her discoveries revolutionized the scientific community, and she has received numerous awards throughout her life. Curious and courageous people, ingenious and passionate people, 
There are people who change the history of the world, and Jane Goodall was one of them. Hi, parents. This message is for you. If you enjoy this podcast, check out Papumba with over 500 learning activities, including games, books, videos, yoga, and more. Your little ones will never be bored. Download Papumba.